Hey, what's up, guys? <clears throat> it's Luke here from H&S Pulling. Uh, I just thought I'd make a quick video here on how to make a real cool steering wheel. Um, when I first started out, uh, I got a lot of compliments on the steering wheel that I made. And uh, I've had it for several years now. When my 1054 here was just a bone stock tractor... Uh, really had nothing done to it. Uh, steering wheel was a little rough when I got it. So I thought, ah, I'm going to make something cool. And I wanted something different. So what I did, I took some roller chain here. And uh, find something round. Preferably something metal so that it doesn't melt. Um, what I ended up using was a, a large V-belt pulley. I put the chain together with the, with the link, just like you normally would. And just to give you perspective here, it's just over a foot. And I held it with that V-belt pulley. And I took the TIG welder, and I just fused every one of the pins. Just melted it together so that it won't flex. Now, if you don't have access to a TIG welder, you can use a MIG or a stick if you need be. Uh, I happen to have access to a TIG welder, so I thought it would make it look nice and neat. Um... <clears throat> I made the bushing, the center bushing, out of a piece of hex bar because I thought it would look cool. I happen to have some. Um, now, I know everybody doesn't have access to machine shop equipment. Um, so, you, you can even buy one of those weld-on collars that you put on a sprocket. You can get them from TSC or Princess Auto or whatever. Um, they already come keyed and bored out and everything you need. Um, this one happens to be three-quarter. But anyway, I made that myself. And then I took <clears throat> some of this quarter-by-half flat bar. I put it in the vise. You can even see some of the vise marks there still. And I heated it red-hot and started twisting it with a wrench. And you can see they don't all look exactly the same. But... That takes a bit of practice. And then I <clears throat> used the TIG welder and welded them in. Again, if you don't have access to a TIG welder, which a lot of people don't, you can use the MIG or a stick, like I say. Now, the reason, I <clears throat> the reason I'm making this video is because, like I said, I've had a lot of compliments on it. <clears throat> Everybody seems to like it. It's been on there a long time, it's starting to get rusty, and I want to take it off and put some paint on it. And I thought I'd show you guys how it's done. So, you, you don't, even if you don't have a, a pulley, you can find a tin can, something like that, or anything round that's not going to melt will work. You could even do it by eye if you really had no other choice. But that's how I did that. And ever since I've been pulling, almost everybody that looks at my tractor compliments on that steering wheel. So while, <clears throat> while I got the camera out, just a quick update here. I haven't managed to, I don't wanna sh shine the camera around too much. The garage is a disaster. Managed to get a few more things done on this uh, 1200 here. Not a lot. I've been pretty busy this week. Um, hope you guys had a chance to look at the videos from last Saturday. We had a little test and tune out in Blue Vale. It's a good day. Weather was good. Track was in good shape. We didn't break anything, so you can't ask for much more than that. 
I think, actually, that's a lie. Sandra lost one of her pod filters and ran over it. I don't know if you can see it there, but it's missing, and she ran over it and flattened it. But, as I said in one of the previous videos, they weren't, they're not very good anyway, so I didn't cry about it too much. <clears throat> so, anyway, that's how you make a cool steering wheel. You won't be disappointed. In all honesty, when I first made that, I wasn't even going to use it. I wasn't sure whether I liked it. And a few of the, my co-workers said, oh no, you should use that, it's cool. And they were right. I'm glad that I did. So that's how it's done, folks. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Leave comments. I, I love hearing people's comments. All right, bye for now.